All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on for our next deck, which is going to be Simic Adapt. Uh, played this the other day and went well. Had a five-win league and um, it felt pretty good. So let's let's try it again. I'm only making one small change. Um, we had two Zaganas in the deck, and the Zaganas were okay against like some aggro opponents, but not really that that great necessarily. And I was only playing three Hydroid Crasis for some reason. So let's just put our fourth Hydroid Crasis in here over the second uh, Zagana. Easy uh, upgrade there. Roarark with the tier one sub. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, before, you know, I, I'm kind of worried about, like, last time whenever we started this, I talked about how I was worried about four Frilled Mystic, four Biogenic Ooze, like, top end cards like that we'd have like just too much top end here um and that if we're behind like maybe we don't get to do stuff with the frilled mystic kind of thing and if biogenic ooze would get outclassed but the two of them did perform well in the league and um looked good and so let's try it out again oh i think last time i played I think last time I played um, Reclamation Sages, two, rec two Rex Sages in the sideboard, and I replaced those with two um, Crushing Canopies, because I want instant speed enchantment room removal against Wilderness, and also, it, you know, Crushing Canopy can help against Flyers, which can be problem a problem for our, for this, uh, for our deck. All right, you're calling this a 5-0 run, Hazy? All right, here we go. 5-0 run. Mulligan. Ugh. We need some we need some mana creatures. Get some acceleration. We got four incubation druid, four land war elf. Uh, we got we got Hawkeye here. We don't need to go get puppy. Right now. Hawkeye's being all nice. Well, this is not gone according to plan. That's a good draw. Good draw. Now, let's just hit this land drop and start oozing. Come on, deck. You can do it. Hit the land drop. Oh, my gosh. Biomance is familiar. Not looking too impressive here. Oh, I need to update the sub goal. We're at 12 now, because Roarark is a rock star. And sub to the channel there. can target the opponent's creatures. Opponent Spart with main deck duress. I think that's a good call. So we'll see if they have uh, finality to kill my things. Finality won't kill their druid or, t or taker because they can adapt to the druid here. This game's been a little miserable for us. Oh, they have their own crisis. So, Hydro Crisis for eight. I'll do it. Let's go to the next game. Altitude. 
It says, hey Todd, hope you're having a, a great day. I'm having a good, I am having a good day. Thank you so much. Yeah, fun Friday here. Playing some magic with y'all. Uh, let's see, let's get the entrancing melodies up in here. Um, take out Zagana. And what else? Kind of like the rest of the cards. I'll trim a familiar. All right, so number 13 on the day. Um. All right, let's go first. Perfect. We actually have turn one land we're off this time. Our opponent had turn one land we're off last time and looked really good. Let's let's do it ourselves. Naya Angel. Or no. Mardu Angels. Where's that at? There you go. So we can get ahead and now start uh, holding up Frilled Mystic next turn. That's all. Awesome. Good job, Quant. You should not. You should not feel sorry for. Um, you should not feel sorry for a Nexus player. Okay. All right. I'm not blocking here because. Honestly, I want to try to kill them pretty quickly. So I didn't want to... Didn't really want to trade, and I also do want to flip to the. I do want to flip the, the wing temple quickly as well. I think we need to kind of put a, a two-turn clock on our opponent. We got nothing going on over here. Opponent's got tons of cards. I don't think we missed four damage. Like, uh, our land flipped after combat. Or, oh, I guess we did, we did miss four damage, didn't we? Yeah, you're right, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I did. I could have just... I could still put the... Con yeah. They could be at three. We just go to damage. So they have Contempt. So not not gonna let them save their hostage taker. Like 
I guess they do get to save their hostage taker, but they, they go down to one. I guess I could have just had these not trade. Yeah, I'm... I could have just pumped the other thing and had it not trade with the branch walker, so we'd have two creatures, so we wouldn't be, so one removal spell wouldn't be backbreaking. Yeah, so buffing the ooze leaves me the two bodies. Um. Thankfully, our one body got it, got it, uh, got it good there. Alright, didn't play that game perfectly. No, I'm not going to grow out the goatee. It doesn't look that good. I have before in my life. No, I'll be shaving tomorrow. <laughs> that was a really good elf. That elf did a whole lot for us. So we just play this thing. Just have it on the battlefield. Our opponents just can be so far ahead. Like, if they have Vivian here, um, you know, acceleration plus, like, the removal for our acceleration. Like, Vivian kill Hadana's climb would have been brutal. But, all right, thankfully they don't have that at least. What are they keeping their two mana available for? Disdainful Stroke? Yeah, probably Disdainful Stroke. Seems like they're purposely leaving two mana available. Could just be a coincidence. They, it's possible they don't have Disdainful Stroke, but... We, of course, have a really obvious Frilled Mystic here. I'd be a little surprised if our opponent plays anything. Wow, I'm very, very surprised by that. Do something that tapped him out. That was very nice for us. Um, so I can I can crace this for two, and then put the counter on the crasis and flip the climb. But if our, if our opponent's willing to play that Vivian there like that... I kind of feel like they're going to do that again. That's what they had for two mana. Let's cast down. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the best. Hawkeye, why are you sitting over there? Come here. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Man, these would be nice times to be playing our five mana spells. We have two cards. Yeah, Vivian and, and Krasis are the cards we do not want them to have. Yeah, 
Yeah, they have they have fine finality. Bleh. So them like gonna be hostage takering my Krasis. I think the the thing I wanna do is start getting large creatures here on the on the ground. Um Yeah, anybody have some answers for gains in chat? I don't I don't know anything about um playing arena on Mac. Okay, they wanna take the ooze. Interesting. That card's not good against Wings Temple of Araska, I can tell you that. Hopefully they don't have another finality. Alright, so do we have lethal? So we have 8, 11. Not quite lethal. They only have one card that's not Jade Light. Alright, leaving the Winged Temple up here in case of a finality. But we should be able to just, you know, kill them in the air next turn. Take nine. Go to nine. Annoying. I despise tyrants like you. All right, so I'm not having. I don't have lethal next turn now. How did they kill that thing? I'll take what's mine. Because they have to have instant speed removal here. Why would they not kill the Krasis, the thing that flies? Okay. That's their plan. It's not a great plan, but uh, we, we got that covered. I assume we have enough mana, right? Yeah, exactly enough mana. Wild animals are no one said restoration was painless. Boom. 
Yeah, no, Hadana's give gives flying, but um, they have that. Hey, like a Zoe with the donation. Hey, Todd, do a great job. Keep it up. If it's all right, I'd like to think um, think about what deck when I'd like to have you play it. Well, like a Zoe, thank you so much for that donation. That is um, very kind. And yeah, absolutely. You have you can. You know, you got a deck donation in the queue. So whenever whenever you have a a deck later on at any time that you want me to play, absolutely. Um, let's do a, a quick, real quick uh, reset here. Um, Arena's just being pretty laggy. All right, and we are 1-0. Yeah, I, I do think that Sultai is the best deck. Um, yeah. I do. Um, yeah, if you know, if you are having a lot of success against Sultai, that could be that. You know, that could that could be. Um, you know, you playing a, you know, you could be better than your opponents kind of thing, um, and, uh, and all that kind of stuff, and, um, so it's always the kind of deck that, that basically everybody has its eye on, like, trying to defeat, um, and so, it is kind of hard for Sultai to be, be prepared for absolutely everything, but it can be tuned to kind of beat anything, though. I think you can play a version of Sultai that beats any other deck. Like, if you want to only... Like, people are like, well, just play... Like, these Nexus decks are awesome against Sultai. Well, Sultai... You can build Sultai to beat Nexus, but, you know, maybe you're going to be weak, weak against, uh, you know, Mono White Aggro if you do that kind of thing. Um, and so you kind of have to pick and choose there... And I, I think that, that that's one thing that maybe some Sultai players are trying to, like, beat the entire field. And they should kind of start trying to, you know, they should be tuning their decks to only, you know, a little more kind of thing. So... Best, you know, like, really what I want to be doing here is holding up Frilled Mystic, but we don't have two blue mana, so we don't have that um, luxury. At least our, our opponent isn't... Our opponent is not playing lands. So that's good for us. We really want a blue source for Frilled Mystic here. But how everybody has Sultai in mind whenever they're building their decks, um, and it's still as good it is as it is. If everybody had like mono blue in mind, like what kind of happened after the last Pro Tour, um, you saw mono blue like fall off because you know it's not strong enough to be able to defeat a bunch of people with tons of stuff in their sideboard for mono blue. Um, Nexus is. These Nexus decks have a serious contention of being the best deck. Um, if the opponent should have played lands, that would help them. <laughs> Let's see, am I taking out Ooze? Yeah. And what, and Jade Light Ranger? Having all this other stuff, maybe Krasis is the Zagana. I'll just take these out. I'll take a Krasis out. So 
So, so that's why I think the Soul Tide is the best deck because it can it can handle the most pressure and be tuned to kind of beat anything. Um, like, let's say let's say Nexus or like just like these like these this Teamer Reclamation deck is really popular these days and it it's putting up a lot of results. The Teamer Reclamation deck is built to beat Soul Tide. If Soul Tide tuned to their deck completely to beat Teamer Reclamation, Soul Tide is going to be winning that matchup. And I think Soul Tide can beat anything if, if tuned to, to just beat that matchup. And that's why I kind of think it's the best deck. Soul Tide has a lot of answers to, to Kotli Honor Garden. And they have cards like Hydro Crisis and Vivian that don't really care about it. But they have, you know, like they, they have like their cast downs in the main deck and finalities and. I have one blue source right now. Even though I only have one blue source, I think I still want to keep that card. It's just it's just so good. Yeah, correct. You, that's that is um, that is a challenge. Of, yeah, absolutely. You can't you can't change your deck during a tournament. Um, so that is a challenge of picking the the right version of Sultai and everything, and, and having the right sideboard. Like that's that's what makes Sultai really difficult is um, making your deck your deck best against the expected field. Right now, I, I don't think that... <clears throat> I think that a lot of people playing Soul Tide right now are, are still playing lists from like a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago kind of thing. And I, I don't think that they have adapted to... Um, with Wellness Reclamation decks in mind enough at this point. Hawkeye's kind of sitting in, in, my, in front of my screen, so I'm looking over here to... I don't even know if this is that bad for me. Get three lands. Is that even bad? Yeah, movement's a new sponsor, Perry Grip. Think I should counter this? I kind of think I let this resolve. They know about both Frilled Mystics, of course. I think I just... I like the lands. Kind of have a whole lot of cards. And the game's likely going to go on for a little while. Worst case scenario, if I counter that, is like them having, um,
You know, worst case scenario of countering that other thing is them having like a cleansing Nova. Now, if they have Deputy of Detention in their deck, I don't think they have Cleansing Nova to go with Deputy of Detention. We'll see if they do have Cleansing Nova. You know, they obviously can have Wilderness Reclamation now, but we have, we have like the Crushing Canopy. Well, that's fine. Would you like to- That can't help you now. I really wanted to be able to play Vivian and Frilled Mystic, but, you know, we don't have the mana for both. I could, you know, Canopy and, and have Frilled Mystic available, but I think just having Vivian on the battlefield um, is valuable. Uh, next turn we can play our climb and flip it. All right, two no. Biggest thing Vivian was gonna be doing is like finding us more lands. You know, like we had so many good spells, just wanted more lands. But phone couldn't handle what we what we had, I suppose. Yeah, this is hang on or hold on loosely. Esper control. This is not a necessarily a good hand against Esper control. Um Bubba says, I would like to make a deck to be as competitive as possible in paper standard. Um, all right. So do you have... Do you have a deck already that you want to, you know, tune to make as, as competitive as possible? Or are you just looking for any deck whatsoever that's the most competitive as possible? Those are those are different uh, answers. Um, you want to just look at like the the most competitive decks. Um, looking through here is a great place to start. Okay. Yeah, as we've been talking about, I think... Okay. I feel like uh, Sultai... Man, drawing Growth Chamber Guardians are our worst possible draw. <clears throat> I think Sultai midrange and the Wilderness Reclamation decks, um, especially the, the newer Teamer Reclamation deck uh, in particular, I think those are the, the decks I would really recommend. Head East never been any reason. Is that is that like the name of the song? All of that? DJ Polly B? Okay, Head East is the band. Gotcha.
We can't really counter that uh, chemistry's insight because then they could untap and Kaiser out, and we have nothing. Popo. Thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime sub here. I really do appreciate that. Double Craddock Carnarium got us. Sub number 14 on the day. Whoops. I meant the delete button. There we go. Deck, what are you doing to us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands. No Ascanta. All right, Hydroid Crasis, where are you at? We got four of you in here. We have three Vivians also, those would be good. That one's good. We had to draw some of our top end eventually. We have so much top end in this deck. Every fight makes me stronger. Let's do this again. The wilds are my shield. Ba -bum. Graveyard. Library. There's a crisis. Found one. Five, so five, six, seven, eight. It's a good crisis number. Oh boy. No Teferi. No, they found a Teferi. Dang. Let's keep up the pace. Let's keep up the pace. All right, so we're. I've seen things that would break someone like you. We are both. Kind of want to take the land, honestly. Both our planeswalkers out, going towards the ultimate. Um, ours will get to the ultimate first. They both ultimate at eight. Both one three eight one three eight. Let's skip to the good part. Put Krasis in the Legends decks. Makes sense. Krasis is really good. It's not a bad, not a bad call. No one knows the wilds like I do. Big thing is, should I attack them? I don't know. All these are like okay. I kind of want to just get a land. I mean, I guess I just take more crises. Like, what am I supposed to do with all these things? Make another move. Just draw a bajillion cards. So we have lethal. We still have no lethal. Time for a break. You know, whether we attacked or not. Um, but now their Teferi cannot tuck. I like their I like that their Teferi can't tuck my Vivian, so Vivian's gonna ultimate. Alright, now we got all these negates. Frilled Mystics were awesome, of course. Um
we don't really need Hadana's climb in like the matchup that has a lot of removal. Um, I guess Zagana and Biomancer is familiar. Which Zagana is probably better than Biomancer is familiar. Yeah, we'll just take out the familiars and the the climbs. We could play like one canopy instead of the Zagana to deal with as Kanta. Yeah, let's play let's play one canopy. Hmm. Yeah. I'm playing this canopy because we've seen we saw multiple Eldest Reborns. Um and they have the Ascanta and you know it's, it's kinda likely that they just play like Lyra or something like that. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, DJ. <laughs> yeah, good old two color deck. In this world of three color decks. There goes the Nagate. If I had one Jade Light, I think they would consider taking the Jade Light, but I think Nagate is probably going to be the take. Oh yeah, deck list for this? Sorry. Uh, exclamation point deck list gets you there. Ooze. Oozin for a bruisin. Not two white mana. Boom, boom. Um, go ahead and throw this out there. We'll see if it gets swept up. We want, we want to really just draw two lands. Well, I guess that's, I guess that one's staying on top though. No to fairy. No to fairy. All right, no fairy. Didn't play a land. I mean, I could Krasis for four and draw two, but then if they have, let's do it. Four. If they do have the uh, Kai's Wrath. It's obviously really bad for us, but they haven't had it yet. If we get to untap with, you know, and have a gate, this is awesome. It's win the game, awesome. Winning games is very valuable uh, in Magic the Gathering. It is the most valuable thing. And so if you have an opportunity to win a game, um, you have to weigh that pretty highly uh, towards like the risk of the opponent having the wrath. So like that should be a pretty pretty high consideration because yeah, winning games is really nice. So if you extend into a Wrath, but it won't win you the game, you don't really need to extend into the Wrath. But if you extend into a, a Wrath that it will win you the game if they don't have it, that's more valuable extension. If you want to lose the game, 
You could... Hmm. You can counter your own spells. You can dress yourself. <laughs> Hello. Alright, let's get another land. Uno Moss Land gets us these Jade Lights. Ah, uh, yeah, you can dress yourself. What's your favorite card now one month into the set? Ooh, that's a good question. What's my favorite card from Ravnica Allegiance? Um, hmm. That's a good question. I think I think Incubation Druid. I really like a lot of mana, and Incubation Druid does that in a cool way. Rec Wilderness Reclamation is lame, of course. Yeah, I like Wilderness. I like a uh, Incubation Druid. Ooh, Seraph of the Scales is nice. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that card a lot too. Wait, no, opponent, no, it's not nice. Stop, stop. Not nice. I take that back. I take it back. Take it all back. It's not nice at all. <laughs> Take action. Take some time. Take action. Never mind, Frilled Mystic's my favorite. <laughs> Parallel Universe, there's a version of Todd that only plays World in this Reclamation decks. What's a. A sad parallel universe. Stitcher supplier? Take action. So they have to chump. Wait, what? Hmm. I mean, that's like your opinion, man. Hey, Zerf. It's a nice Friday night. We're here in our fourth deck uh, right now and thinking about trying out this Omni OmniScience draft afterwards so against Seraph of the Scales like this these removals aren't so good but against like Lyra's and other things Crushing Canopies Harpooners are pretty good there um take out a couple familiars take out this Zagana take out a Biogenic Ooze that can get they can just fly over and one climb I'm kind of interested in Entrancing Melody here also, I'm going to just play one canopy. Two ooze. One, one canopy. And I had a lot of not flyers. There we go. Drafted after this. Yeah, right after this. Has after this league has he led? Yeah, Marty Angels did pretty well. We played 
we played a different version of Mardu Angels, like the one that we ended talking about, like the last time we played it. Um, so we had like main deck, like we didn't play any like the the two and the three drops except except for Splendid, of course. Um, but we were going main deck treasure maps and deafening clarions, and we played against uh, in our six leagues six matches. We played against four aggro decks, and so ran those over. And the clarions were great, including a couple mono blues. Um, and then we beat a Sultai with help from Takali Honor Guard in the sideboard. And uh, so those are our wins. And then we lost to um, Team or Nexus. Play a two two crisis. Nah, two two crisis is just kind of a waste, and we don't have other resources. Well, if I knew we we're going to draw another crisis anyway. I would have thrown out that 2 2 crisis. Good, get that Seraph of the Scales out of here. I, I don't know why our opponent has a plier. <laughs> I don't know. Haven't figured that one out yet. So we have... Um, eight mana, so we can do six. is a convenient life total to have because our opponent can do um i think they can do eight to us right four five six seven eight yeah they, like on the battlefield they can do eight to us oh wait no we can block here but then yeah that, that goes there four five six seven now they can do seven I'm, I'm glad our opponents have these suppliers though because they don't really do anything No, yeah, they, yeah, they could have done, could have done seven. Okay, so I need, I need a lot of blockers. Um, if I play Land of War Elf, I can do another Crisis for six, or. Or Druid plus Krasis for four. If I do another Krasis for six, I gain three life and I'm at 11. And I got the three blockers. That's, that's good. Our opponent has a lot with giant. Maybe. You never know. Uh oh. You're just fuel for the fires of fear. Uh oh. That card's good. That card's pretty good. 
All right, back on second canopy, two canopy twos. Yeah, that card is the anti crisis. And Hawkeye, you just got some, some of your hair like on my face. That's annoying me. It's itching. Sorry, bud. All right, we are one and one. Got to win this to keep our perfect streak alive, and that will do. Like incubation drew it on turn two. We can wait until later before we do the growth chamber guardian. Big thing is like our turn three. Do we want to jade light or hold up frilled mystic? Probably want a jade light on the play on turn three. Um, you know, like, their turn three, they probably don't have, um, something that we need to Frilled Mystic in particular. Like, they have a lot of four and five mana cards that we want to Frilled Mystic. You know, like, Seraph and Angrath and all their on hells. We got Dub's Mystic. Oh, poor opponent. No lands. That's unfortunate. And we get to just pass here because not only do we have the Frilled Mystic, um, but we have the Incubation Druid as well. They're pretty dead. They play anything, I get a 3 2. Nah. Pirate's Pillage? Well, we had a really good hand. Uh, unfortunately, opponent did not and didn't put up any fight whatsoever. We could have handled a little bit of fight there with that hand, though. All right. Y'all know what time it is. Being 4-0, we got an extra life yet again. Let's get him out there. Yeah, that was not a good game for the opponent there, that last one. It's final boss time. With the extra life. Ooh, I'll take it. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I think I'm okay with that happening. I think I have like a lot of things to spend my mana on later. And so kind of, you know, it's certainly possible they're shocking in for opt and maybe they don't have the shock. Um, I don't think I'm going to be hurting for things to use my mana on later. And so I think just getting my mana, using that on turn two there is, is worth it. You should let donation deck creators add a song to the final boss playlist if you go 5-0 or 5-1. Ooh. That's not bad. It's not a bad idea. I was thinking about... Do or One thing that I was thinking about doing is... And I, th I think I did this a couple of times, but I need to, I guess I need to write, write this down somewhere, announce it or something, but um, if you do a donation deck and we go 
Or maybe even 5-1 also. If we win 5, then your next donation deck is $5 off. Instead of 20, it's only 15. If we get the 5 win league. I don't know if that, like, could lead to, like, some feel-bads if I, like, kind of play bad and, and lose one that's my fault kind of thing. No, it doesn't have to be uh, instrumental, but it has to be just, you know, us fighting the fighting the bad guys kind of thing. Wow, they had real patience on that cast down. Not using it earlier. Probably had negate for Vivian. They just don't have the mana to deal with this stuff and deal with Vivian. We're going to game two. Yeah, 2-1 two, draw two creature. Strong to quite strong. So same as we boarded against Esper. We don't need... Um, I think we're just taking out the familiars and the... And the climbs. Um, climbs you just don't need whenever you're, like, your creatures are dying. And familiar is only really that good if you have the other creatures in play also. So taking out our cards that are only kind of good in those scenarios. Um, this is Grixis. And so Grixis usually has flyers. Like they usually have Thief and... Like most people who play Grixis are playing Thief. So they're playing Thief and Nicol Bolas. Yeah, they're going to have, like, Bolas for sure. Let's play this Canopy over the Zagana. They're going to destroy Azkanta or Eldest Reborn or Thief or Bolas. I kind of wanted to play a... Um... All right, you have a... All right, we have a final boss. All right, let... We have a... Y'all let me know. What do y'all you... think about this for a final boss? Oh, wait, why is this not working? I'm not logged in. So it's going the distance there. Sad. I'm keeping my hand for sure. it can y'all even hear that can y'all even hear this I can't even hear this Enigma Drake, huh? Alright, let me Alright, which which I guess which song on here were you were you trying to was it trying to be?
Let me see if I can get this. Was it the going the distance one? It says like this song's on. Yeah, this is just it's just not working. Getting back over here. It just isn't working. So they could have the cast down to be able to kill the growth chamber guardian at instant speed. Cry of the Carnarium would be really bad. I think we can erase the Enigma Drake. We'll be close. I'm not gonna let them draw two and, and discard another one. And I guess the answer is no, we cannot erase the Drake though. Actually. Holy Avatar, thanks for that re-sub there. I really do appreciate that. How many months? Three, three months now. Thank you kindly. Let's get another canopy in here. Do I want harpooners? No, I don't really want harpooners. Yeah, maybe this is just Drake's splashing the black, actually. So... That's the case. I could just be playing this wrong. Maybe, maybe I do need like all the harpooners. Yeah, I guess I guess I probably do need the the harpooners. This does look like Drake's, doesn't it? Not Grixis, even though they're like thought erasuring and stuff. Alright, Deck, can we get some lands? Need some lands. What? That's the worst card in my hand. Just the actual worst card in my hand. Yeah, you roll a dice, yeah, for to resolve random effects in, in paper. Yep. How do they take Biogenic use? Uh, thanks, Holy Avatar. Says, I don't know what to say. I really enjoy the stream. Keep up the good work. Thank you kindly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's doing that sometimes, counting subs twice. Not exactly sure why. They certainly don't care about negate, though. Alright, 
I'm just doing this thing. I should have just done this last turn. Yeah, I should have just done that last turn. If they weren't taking the negates, we have the canopy we got to untap with. I don't really like where we're at um, in this game, even though, like, they're at 10, we're at 20, because another Crackling Drake, and we're, like, you know, like, we're really looking bad against another Crackling Drake. Yeah. Definitely missed sideboarded. Definitely needed... The harpooners in, and not these negates. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for Terramander. So Terramander does cost two to adapt. So it's the they got the perfect number to adapt it there. Definitely really sideboarded wrong there. Just need to think need to think that I really needed uh really needed the harpooners in. Just miss sideboarded completely. Um because yeah, negate is really not that good against Drakes. And trancing melody was annoying. We have the extra life though. That is true. We got the extra life. We're still four and one. <clears throat> I had my own en entrancing melodies that could have been in. I don't know why, I just didn't realize that that was that was their Drake that that was their deck. Take these things eating burn spells all the time. Ooh. And nothing to do there. That's a real bad turn for them. They are flooding out. Yeah, this one looks kind of in the bag for us by now. Poor opponent. 
flood it out. Okay. Alright, it's gonna have the Vivian just look for more frilled mystics and hydroid crises. Stop nature. Um I'll take this land. This game's pretty over. Um, Melody. Negate. Brontodon and Ripjaw Raptor. Climb. Familiar. Um, take out a Vivian. Take out another Vivian. Um, I don't know. What, what do y'all think about Melody? Is Melody a, a no? I mean, three mana just like take their one ones, kind of cool, like their one mana thing. You just lose the ooze. Ooze isn't. I mean, yeah, it's just not necessary. It's not bad. It's like good against, you know, if they have like a big creature draw, and it it ends games kind of quickly. You know, like putting multiple bodies out. Um. Is is certainly good. Land War Elf is not really good against uh, Chain Whirler and stuff. Like Land War Elf's not a very good card. We probably just don't need the ooze. Yeah, I'm keeping the one Vivian case of case of frenzy and stuff. Yeah, we could see Phoenix. Phoenix would be a problem for us. Um, you know, we have to, like, try to counter it with Frilled Mystic or, like, Entrancing Melody it or something. Or just go bigger with Krasis. I guess that's always an option. Mystic just can trade for multiple cards, which is exactly what you want. You know, you just always want to be trading for multiple cards. And it Mystic interacts with the stack, which with with red deck wins here, how it's you know it's using burn spells at your face. Um, you want to be able to interact with the stack, and that's what it can do. Playing this land war off because it can trade with the pyromancer this turn. So we don't have to take the damage. That card deals four damage. It's more than other burn spells. That means we should counter it. Ugh. Yuck. That's the problem with Lilana War. This would be a nice spot for Frilled Mystic. That would have been a good Frilled Mystic. They have a 2 damage burn spell on top. Well, I mean, I guess if they have the burn spell, they, would, they could still use it... They could use it in response to the adapt anyway, like there's not really a reason not to block. Or they just Or they just didn't. Ooh, they had Frenzy and Phoenix. This has gone bad. 
Where's a Krasis? We have a lot of mana. We get a Krasis here. Nope. Would be a, quite a big Krasis. We'll do Krasis for 10. Game three. See, Bajan Kuz really isn't that bad. So you have something else to do. I'm off Melody. I'd rather have Ooze than Melody. I mean, Melody's good against specifically Phoenix. I'd rather have Ooze against the smaller things. Yeah, I'm getting a couple. I'm just getting a couple of Oozes back in. I just want. I want bodies. Yeah, elves. Land of War Elves is the kind of card that, like, I I like it. Turn one. It's worth it. But yeah, drawing it later is not. Do not want to ever draw a Land of War Elf. <laughs> you can see the shadow. Oh, it's coming back. It's it's lurking this card. Dun 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 dun. Boom. Uh familiar is not not too special. I think the mana that land where elves provide is, is better than what Biomancer is familiar with doing for the most part. Hmm. No. Okay, getting us some luck. So, this move is is risky. I'm I'm adapting the incubation druid right now, so they can't just like kill it in response to adapt. But if they have experimental experimental frenzy, then that's a big problem for us. So I'm I'm going off of the notion that they won't have experimental frenzy here. Um, no, stop. So we could have certainly been punished for that, is what I'm saying. It was a risk that I took there. Just kind of make sure we had a 3-5. But opponent's hand is pretty bad. They multi five and then had five lands. This is an unfortunate game for them. Looks like our opponent's done. Yeah. Didn't do very much there. But we'll take the win. That's a another five one for Simic Adapt. Another pretty powerful uh, result for our deck. We got even got a mythic in there. Got the forty gems. So yeah, this is this deck's working pretty well. Feels pretty good. I mean, played it two leagues now, kind of recently. The other one was like four or five days ago or so now, and uh, we went five one in that one also. 
But, you know, just a lot of early mana and then Hydro Crisis is awesome. Frilled Mystic was was just really good for us, that whole league. Uh, yeah, Frilled Mystic was pretty impressive. Biogenic Goose kind of does its thing. Climb flies over Sultai. You know, that's how we beat the Sultai deck was with the Climbs. I remember last time whenever we played against Sultai, that was um, how we won that matchup. Did, still didn't do anything really with Zagana. That could maybe be a better slot. Uh, I remember last time I was talking about maybe even throwing Entrancing Melody in the main deck. Not so sure about that, but with how much mana our deck can, can get to with Incubation Druids and Landwar Elves and stuff, I wonder if Mass Manipulations maybe in the sideboard instead of Melodies. Maybe not, though. But only lost to Drakes, and only because I didn't sideboard well at all against them. I uh, didn't really realize they were Drakes until game three. <laughs> Um, so, you know, you live, you learn, but there we go. That's Simic Adapt. Um, so if you're watching this video later on, on YouTube, don't forget to hit that sub button over there, but thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.